hi, Ruthie. Thank you so much for joining me today. For those in the congregation or those uh, watching this video, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure. So my name is Ruthie Wildwanger, and I am a musician and teacher, which is how I have been uh, functioning at Beatitudes for the last several years. Um, I think it was five years ago, roughly, that I first walked into Beatitudes um, because Stephen, the music director, um, asked me to play in a service. We went to school together and anyway, small world, so that's what got me in the door. Um, but then over the last year, I've, well, two years maybe, I've grown uh, uh, closer or gotten to know better, um, you know, Tony and um, sort of the direction the church is going. So I've been doing more of that, um, teaching um, music on the Beatitudes campus and also um, being involved with the children's program, even now online. Um, how is that going? What is it like working with them? online now as opposed to in person? So this summer, it's been um, a focus on the fruits of the spirit, which I think is lovely. And I feel like I fit right in with, um, because my, my own personal ministry is pretty focused on, um, I, I can call them spiritual values. We can call it fruits of the spirit, um, virtues. I'm involved with the virtues project and I've definitely leaned heavily on those resources um, with ministry to Beatitudes. Um, as far as music has been in, incorporated with that, um, it's that that's one thing that I'll say um, is a challenge, not only a challenge, a, a, a prohibition <laughs> with, you know, virtual. Um, <laughs> as you know, I don't need to tell you, you cannot have, group singing online. It, it just doesn't work. Anyway, so we're adapting. So what that's looked like more is that I've been preparing um, like two minutes of music. I, I Sometimes I've played on my cello. Sometimes I've um, sung and played um, guitar. I've written a couple songs because I, I recognized like, oh, we don't have enough music out there about patience. <laughs> and that's one of the fruits of the spirit <laughs> that we're focusing on. So um, you know, how to do that. So I've, um, it's been more of a, um, I'm going to perform for a couple minutes and then the kids listen and, and then we kind of talk about what, what I sung about. And, you know, so it's, it's, um, I, I miss having the opportunity to inviting them to clap with me and to actually sing along, which is what we were doing more before. So that, that's definitely a compromise. Um, but that's, uh, that's how we're adapting. Sure. <laughs> Do you think that music is a way to get uh, children and young adults interested in the church or interested in possibly post-COVID uh, attending church services? Coming back to what I see the, the value of music is in a church context is that it has the potential of strengthening an individual's relationship with God, which to me is the only thing I care about. That's to me the, the point of church and to the extent that it does that, I wanna be there <laughs> and I wanna help support it. So um, I, I think the possibility is definitely there. I think that depends on um, how, how that's executed, I guess, but, um, but definitely it's a possibility, yeah. <laughs> 